Welcome to our institute, the Russian Center for Polar Research, where information from across the planet's polar regions is collected. A part of the Russian Federal Service for Hydrometeorology and Environmental Monitoring, Ross Hydromet, the institute conducts basic and applied research in the Arctic and Antarctic. As directed by Ross Hydromet, it also conducts continual monitoring of the state of different environments, including the air, ice, sea, and biological environments, and notes any changes to them. The Institute studies the dynamics of climate change and sea ice extent, and also populates the State Polar Region's Natural Environment Data Bank. The Institute has conducted regular work in the Arctic since 1920, the year marking the organization of the Northern Research and Trade Expedition and the start of the Institute's history. Over the last 90 years, the Institute has, on a number of occasions, been reorganized and renamed and has been subordinate to a variety of different bodies. The Institute's current name dates from 1958, when the International Geophysical Year kicked off Russia's era of Antarctic research. The Institute has carried out scientific observations in the southern continent for more than half a century. Today, nine research stations operate in Antarctica. Five of them operate year-round, two are seasonal, and two more are equipped with automated meteorological stations. The research project to drill down to the subglacial Lake Vostok has attracted significant interest from the international community. The samples of ice and water which were obtained will be analyzed in the Laboratory for Environmental and Climate Change, recently established at the Institute. The laboratory has been fitted out with the latest equipment for isotope and gas analysis. There is great confidence that this project will be successful and that we shall be able to learn many new things about the history of the Earth's climate. The Institute's expeditionary fleet is also involved in supplying the remote polar stations. The research and expedition vessel, the Akademik Fyodorov, It will soon be joined by a new icebreaker, the Akademik Pryoshnikov. Named after polar explorer and former director of the Institute, Alexei Pryoshnikov. The Institute is unique in the sense that it carries out the complete cycle of work in polar latitudes. Based on a scientific interpretation of the results of those experiments, methods and models are developed for calculating and forecasting changes in the natural environment. The Institute publishes scientific journals, atlases and surveys, and also works with universities to nurture the polar explorers of the future. All this work is underpinned by cutting-edge methods and technologies. On top of this, the Institute provides essential information directly to partners, colleagues and clients. The Institute's customers include federal agencies and regional authorities, and Russian and international companies which operate or have interests in the Arctic and Antarctica. So, issues around the safety and effectiveness of working on the Arctic shelf guaranteeing passage along the northern sea route, complex monitoring of polar regions, supplying the Russian Antarctic program. These are all issues which the Institute deals with every day. The Research Center is both a repository of tradition and a generator of new ideas. They say it has a big future. Antarctica is also much closer than you think it is. Pay us a visit at the polls. You will not be bored, I promise.